the medical field needs to change in terms of what it looks like. Um, we need to start reflecting the diversity of, of our country. So things like working on the pipeline to ensure that we're getting new trainees that really reflect what our society look like. This is a core value of our division. It's something that we find really important. The location of the UCLA Division of Pulmonary and Critical Care Medicine in the diverse and sprawling community of Los Angeles County inspires and informs its mission. The division is committed to improving access to care while making meaningful changes in diversity and representation within the medical profession itself. Innovation, creativity, and collaboration is the spirit of the UCLA program and this creates the driving force behind cutting-edge research and the training of the next generation of physician scientists, clinicians, and medical educators. The care of a diverse Southern California population is at the core of all of the values and missions of the UCLA Pulmonary and Critical Care Division. There is a patient care mission, there's a research mission, there's an education mission, and every faculty member is involved in one or more of those missions. So I think that's really unique about our division at UCLA, is that we hold each mission with great value, and I would say equal value. The educators value the scientists, the scientists value the clinicians. It's basically a multidisciplinary collaboration. Through multidisciplinary collaborations, the professionals in the UCLA Pulmonary Division work to improve access to care and reduce health disparities. Quality health care is a human right, and trying to make that quality health care that UCLA provides as accessible to as many of our population as possible is what drew me here. We need to understand the mechanisms of disparities. And these young, talented physicians are coming in to create this network of people that can answer these tough questions so we can actually tackle the challenges. Division leadership has really leaned into this, so much so that we're actually building a health services research core. Physicians and trainees researching health factors from biological, societal, and health policy standpoints. From a healthcare implementation standpoint, to make sure that we're addressing pulmonary diseases, critical care medicine as a whole, the healthcare is, is equitable and, and, and equitably um, implemented. Among its many missions, the Diversity, Equity and Inclusion Committee is taking action on inequities and disparities. And also sort of the disparities between what the population looks like and what our field looks like. Um, and so that was the first step that we took is in creating this committee where myself, Chidinma and Wale are part of it. The committee works to advance the division's EDI goals on every level. This is an institution that's prepared to put money where its mouth is. They have devoted resources to actually making, you know, EDI a priority, and not just a priority, but a reality. Roxana Chidinaman and I, we work together, we meet together, we brainstorm together. Wale is more focused on sort of the research aspect of it, as well as increasing that pipeline of trainees. Roxana is more clinical and also education-based, so she's working closely with the fellowship program in an education standpoint. And speaking of access, so she she works in a county hospital predominantly, bringing UCLA Olive View residents to our programs. Chidinma is really QI focused and works kind of at the management side, given her background and her skill set. Chidinma is also kind of into the education aspect of it. It works really, really nicely because between all of this, I think we have most of it covered. To kind of help people that look like us rise into this field and encourage sort of that pipeline is what, what one of our focuses is as well. There's a unique energy in the pulmonary division and it's fueling growth and expansion. And now we have over 100 faculty members. So every subspecialty of pulmonary has been expanded. Interventional pulmonary, lung transplantation, cystic fibrosis, and then sleep medicine was also expanded. Allergy immunology, and that's what we've been able to build by growing this large faculty. Cutting edge research and groundbreaking clinical trials are leading to major advances in lung transplantation. We have one of the biggest programs in the nation right now. We typically do between 80 and over 100 lung transplants a year. Increasing the quality of life of lung transplant recipients is the life's work of these dedicated researchers. The Achilles heel of lung transplantation is something called chronic lung allograft dysfunction, right, CLAD. And CLAD is really synonymous with chronic rejection. 
So we worked on mechanisms to decrease the incidence of ischemia reperfusion injury. Tireless research from bench to bedside. How can we change things to make patient survival post-transplant improve? And back to the bench again. We have our bronchoalveolar lavage specimens, our plasma specimens. We're you know, doing transcriptomics, proteomics. I think without a doubt, we're programmatically making changes to improve their survival. Another way of creating lasting impact is through the UCLA STAR program. The STAR program stands for Specialty Training and Advanced Research and gives these trainees a unique opportunity to get a fully funded degree actually while in training. I'm a STAR program uh, member and, and that's really what has given me the opportunity to ask the questions, the research questions that I've been interested in. We really are essentially training the next generation of physician scientists that go on to be physician scientists for years and years to come. Expanding the pipeline of trainees as the division spreads into a dozen different sites across Southern California. What that allows is the entire LA community to have access to all the resources that UCLA has to offer. It's a true privilege to do medicine and to do pulmonary and critical care, and it's a privilege doing it here at UCLA. The faculty is unrecognizable from size, but also from the diversity in the faculty compared to when it was when I joined. And that has been, I think, one of our biggest accomplishments as well. And we're not there yet. We have a long way to go. It, it very much is a huge part of the UCLA mission and vision. I'm hoping that by being out there, you know, I'll, I'll kind of convince others that look like me that this is a worthwhile field um, and something that you can make an impact in. What we have built here is that ability to impact and to help patients in a way that we were never able to do before.